guys, everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to update you uh, the PEBT program for the residents of Massachusetts of the school year 21-22. So this is the reason one, um, the Massachusetts come up, uh, come out the new update rewriting about PEBT for this uh, school year. So if anyone, if this is your first time coming to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can uh, receive every single time I upload the new video, the notifications, or let you know uh, there is something new coming up, okay? Um, for the PABT, if this is your first time receiving it, you heard it, uh, I will take a very quick moment to explain to you the PEBT stand for the Pandemic Electronic Benefits Transfer Program. And it's were created during the COVID-19 uh, spring 2000, uh, 2020. This program is provide a fund for family to buy food. It's similar to the SNAP or food stamp, but this is for the student who going to school, right? During the COVID-19, they're not able to go to school. They stay in home, parents buying food for them and support them during, do, during that time. Therefore, this program from the federal uh, come out to support the families during that time. You using this uh, PEBT program, it doesn't impact your or your families or your student immigration status. Because this is the public change rule doesn't affect uh, and doesn't need to apply the PBT, SNAP, or many other. So during the COVID uh, back then in, uh, in 2021, 2020s, uh, you may get more monies because like, during that time, the school is closed, students staying at home. So you get um, a good amount of money to support. But now this school year, 2021, um, the student is, most of the student is back to school, right? So the benefit is not much at this moment or you not see it uh, coming out uh, recently. But if your family need more money uh, for food support, you can apply for SNAP. It can go up to $835 for the family of four. Um, you can go to the SNAP food stamp uh, website of the state, learn more about it, and um, fill out the application if that uh, is something that your family needed. But in this video, I will provide the information to you about the PEBT for the student or for your child in this school year, how they are eligible and how much they will going to get um, if they are eligible. So to be eligible for the PEBT fund for this school year 21-22, the student must or they have been approved by your school for freeze or reduce price meal. So they uh, receive, um, they go to school, they eat lunch for free or family pay, but pays um, with the reduced amount. If you um, meet one of those, then you eligible, your child is eligible for this program. Or your child attend a school where every student get the free meal, so you don't have to pay anything, right? And also one of this criteria that you need to meet that your child is missed school due to the COVID reasons. For example, the absence due to the positive COVID test, uh, the absence due to uh, a close contact, with a COVID-19 persons or they're on the quarantines 
or the student absence uh, due to the uh, protocol C from state COVID absence policy. For example, um, they have they not they not get test positive, but they have the symptom similar uh, to the COVID nineteen symptom. So they need to stay in home quarantine, make sure they okay before they go back to school. Um, that is also if your child is absent for those reasons, uh, you get you will be also eligible to receive the money for this time. Or the student that participate in the remote learnings, either due to the temporary school closure or due to the remote learning during the quarantines. So those also count as the PEBT's eligible days. All right, so how much? If your child is absent, meet all the requirements, then how much you're going to receive PEBT for this time? So if your child is eligible, you will get one of three PEBT amount per month. For example, if your child is absent from one to five days, they're going to receive $21 per month per student. And if your child is absent from six to 15 days, then your child is going to receive $71 per month per child. And if your child is absent more than 16 days, you're going to receive $128 per month per student. And when you're going to get it, by on the May 25th of next month, they're going to issue the PEBT benefit. And then um, they're looking for the date since September 2021 through April 2022. They will be count all the number that the student was absent. And they issue the total amount to, to you. Okay. So those is the date that they're going to issue, May 25th. And if you're absent, you know, like how many absence, you will probably know how much uh, your child's absent, you probably know how much you're going to receive uh, for that month or that benefit. And remember, for this month, this PBT for the new ones, um, the PBT program is just only for you, to, the money for you to use to buy food only. So you can go anywhere, uh, the market, supermarket, where they accept the SNAP or food stamp benefit, then you can use the money, something like that, similar to like that, okay? But before you use, you need to activate your card. And uh, if you don't know how to activate your card, um, on my channels, I did create a video show you step-by-step step how to activate your card. So you can look in for that video and review it and follow it, and you will be able to do very easy and simple, okay? And also, if you did receive in the past, but now your card is lost, you mislaid it, then you don't know where is your card, you need a replacement. On my channel, I also have the video show you how, where to call, how to contact to direct persons or request the replacement card. So you can follow that step and um, just go through to that video, follow the step very easy. Um, then you will be able to request a replacement card, okay? Um, And if you are new, this is the first time you receive the PEBT card. Um, 
you wonder, do I need to apply in order to receive this benefit? Because you know your child is absent, right? Uh, and your child is eligible for those requirements in order to receive the money. You don't have to worry because the school have the student data. When your child is absent, you call in the school and let them know your child is, is absent, what the reasons, right? You're asking permission for that. Uh, so they give you the excuse, the, the school take note of that and they keep that data. So if you call and tell the school that your child is absent because of the COVID, they quarantines, um, the school matching it, and then now they have the data. They use that data, they send it to the state uh, state will be follow that and issue the PEBT benefit based on the school data. So you don't need to apply uh, to receive the PEBT benefit, okay? And if, if you re receive the SNAP, food stamp, or the TFDCs at the same time, then the benefit of the PEBTs they will be upload directly into your DTA EBT card. So you don't have to have, you, you will not receive a new card of the PEBT. The benefit will be upload add on those for you. So you just only need to check your balance, right? Or call the number on the back of your card start on the May 25th because like that is the date they will be issued the benefit. So you can check the balance on that to make sure that you receive the additional amount. If it is, then that is the amount that they issue for the PEBT benefit. What happened if you don't have the SNAP, you don't receive SNAP or TFDCs, then you will receive a letter and the PEBT card. They will send it to you from the DTA Department of Trans, um, Transition Assistant in May or June. They send that letter out to you. When you receive those letters, make sure you keep it. It's very important because on that letter, it's had your student case number. And you need that number to activate the card. Don't throw them away. Keep it because you need for the activation, the card activation, right? Um, and I, again, you can look on my video channel. Uh, there is the video show you how to activate your card. Um, it show you, it helps you very simple. Um, you also can check the balance to see how much you get, you know, by calling. I have all that detailed information on my channel. So you can look for that how to act activate your card, okay? That is my channel. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you uh, for coming to my channels. Uh, if you do not subscribe my channel, yes, please do. Uh, I need your support. Um, thank you and look forward to see you on my next videos. If you have any further questions, feel free to add on the comments below. I'm happy to um, return, try to my best to do the research and return um, the answer to you. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.